What's up, Drake here, bringing y'all another video. Not too long ago, about a couple weeks back, I did a video over Addiction is a Disease. It's a documentary. Um, I just wanted to talk about different, the different types of addictions there are. There's smoking. Uh, smoking is bad for you. I do not recommend it, especially if you're underage. Um, in my previous video I mentioned I do not and will not whenever I do my free giveaways send any minors any tobacco products or anything that t contains tobacco I do not want to go to jail um, I also mentioned in that video that I'm making a good living for myself I work at a hospital taking care of people I'm not going to disclose the location due to the fact, due to safety regulations and, and rules, regulations, and procedure. Because I do not want to lose my job. Um, I do not approve of drinking underage. Now, whenever you turn 21, fine. I mean, in the state of Oklahoma, you have to be 21 if you want to drink. But that is also an addiction. There are tons of people out there in the United States, about over 10,000 people get severely injured and or die from drinking and driving. Um, not only that, but not only they get injured, but they can seriously hurt and injure somebody else. Um, there's a video I watched on YouTube. Um, it was uh, there's this high schooler. There were some high schoolers that decided to go out and have a party. Um, they they wasn't watching out for what they was doing, and they they wasn't responsible. Um, they was drinking some really hardcore liquor and it really messed them up. Um, they all decided to go out and go for a little joy ride, is what I like to call it, whenever you're drinking and driving. Um, whenever, during that time frame, they got into a collision and it killed the driver and the passenger and the people in the back seat were, one of them was severely injured and they, they was in critical condition, got, admitted to ICU, which is intensive care unit. Um, the fourth passenger got admitted to the hospital, but did not make it. Um, let's see, there's, and the other, the car that they hit turned out to be one of their fellow classmates, uh, which they had their younger siblings in the vehicle it put I mean it didn't kill them but it really traumatized the children very bad I don't think that those kids are gonna make that mistake um, I'm pretty sure that whenever they experienced that that they needed to actually have a little bit of counseling and a little bit of guidance. Um, with that in mind, do not drink and drive. I don't want I don't want y'all to get injured or even die for that matter. I mean, there's an, also an addiction on drugs. Uh, like example, methamphetamine. Uh, coke, uh, marijuana, those are all addictions. Um, you don't, I mean, you don't want your kids to grow up around that stuff. I mean, you don't want to be doing that and then decide you want to get a girlfriend and marry her someday and have kids and end up, and they end up doing the same thing because that's just going to lead your children to down the wrong path. And whenever I have, whenever, if I ever have any children, 
then I want to, then I want to lead them down the right path to happiness and the I mean I'm not going to raise them around smoking, dipping, drinking or anything. Um all that is strictly prohibited. Drinking is prohibited in my grandmother's household. If you want to smoke, you have to go outside on the porch. If you want to dip, fine. But you that's fine. You can dip in the house. But you cannot but you best use the cup and you best rinse your mouth afterwards. That's two of the main rules. That she don't want to see me get sick and end up with cancer. Um, each and every time I get done with one, I spit it out, rinse, brush my teeth, and then get something to drink right after to prevent, get, to prevent from getting uh, cancer. Um, like I said, I don't want any of that to happen to y'all. Um, y'all are better than that. Uh, I, I believe in y'all that y'all can be responsible and, and live the right path to happiness. Um, yes, we are going to make mistakes in life. That's perfectly normal in a human being's life. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to get pulled over. I mean, we're going to we're going to do something that we're going to regret. I mean, some people may not think so, but deep down inside, they regret what they have done wrong. They're, they just don't want to admit it. For example, I was in middle school, uh, about sixth grade. Wait, yes, yeah, sixth grade. I made a terrible mistake and that's because I wasn't raised the proper properly I was raised around a, in a, an abusive fam household that for 14 and a half years and I had to get out of that situation that is also an addiction but there is no excuse for it people abuse their children because they want to they do it because they have nothing else better to do. Me, that happened to me. And for the longest period of time, I was in counseling. I mean, I couldn't even go out in public like I am now. And I couldn't go for a walk without being afraid. I mean, even now, whenever I see my parents out in public, it's one of the things I do not feel safe. I literally have to go somewhere and hide myself away from them and get myself out of that situation. Due to that fact, and reason being due to the fact is because it's because um, my father still is on the hunt for me. He doesn't know. I mean, he knows where I live. He's I mean, I'm pretty sure that he has plans, long-term plans, for the next time he does see me, or even the next few times, on what he's going to do. Um, I'm not going to name any names, uh, because I do not disclose any of that information to anybody I don't know. Um, whenever whenever y'all become parents, if you do become parents... Lead your kids down the right path. Do not let them do something they'll regret. If they, if they do something wrong, sit down and talk to them. Don't hit them. Don't yell at them. Sit down and talk. Yelling and hitting your children is not acceptable. Um, and I don't want to see any... And I don't want... To see any of y'all get put in jail and I don't want to see y'all on the news due to, the, due to that reason um anyways I'm almost home guys I'm gonna go be careful be safe and God bless <laughs>